what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over a football game for saturday september 28th 2024 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick and if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in this game, you'll have to join my Patreon. My picture always in writing, underline, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the pinned comment in the comment section below of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks uh, for this game for this day. Let's go ahead and get to the game. Uh, we're going to be looking at, or I'm going to be looking at, the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Alabama Crimson Tide on Saturday. Um, I had this game requested to me by a Patreon member, as well as there's a comment on my YouTube um, about this game. So I went ahead and put this game together for them, and I just do a quick video on it. Why not? Uh, since I'm already doing started the Thursday Night Football game uh, video, might as well just do this one real quick while I'm at it. On uh, This is going to be my second. I'm not a big college football guy. Um, especially when it comes to picks, uh, I do okay. I'm like at 54 or 55%. Like it's, it's nothing to brag about by any means. This would be my second college football game picked for this season. The first game I picked, I think was, uh, the Florida Gators or Florida, Florida versus Miami or something like that. Uh, fortunately enoughly, I, I won that game in week one. So I'm one to know on the season, but that don't mean nothing. So um, if you're looking to get college picks from me, um, I wouldn't join my Patreon because I just don't do a lot of them. I'm doing this by request, sure. And yeah, I won the first game that I did uh, that I did this season, but I wouldn't join uh, Patreon if you're, if you're just looking to see who I'm going to pick on this game. I don't think it would be worth it because uh, I'm not going to pick – I'm probably not going to pick any more of the college games. Um, so just take what I have to say in this video and just hopefully it's enough information for you guys if you join you join great if not no big deal i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily recommend it just for this game uh if i'm being 100 percent honest with you so but uh yeah so let's get into my number setup on uh, this side of the screen is what i call my daily numbers date numerology gregorian hebrew calendar and then on this side of the screen is what i call my game numbers number specific to the game the way that i have it structured here is i have the location of the game right here the city the state the stadium uh, I have the road team right here, their coach's record, their quarterback name, Gamatria, their season record, their road record, as well as their conference record. In the middle is the all-time head-to-head record between the two teams, as well as how many games they played specifically in Alabama and what that record is. And then at the bottom is the home team, um, their season record, their home record, their conference record for the season, their quarterbacks, Gamatria, as well as their coach's all-time record. And let's go ahead and just get into it. We're going to start with the home team. Uh, Alabama, I'm going to give you some numbers for the home team to win this game. Then I'm going to give you some numbers for Georgia to win this game. Uh, they're both coming into this game undefeated, so the one number that I'm going to show you can really hit both sides, but it can also go against Alabama, but we'll talk about that. On this day, the day of this game, it's going to be the 173rd day of the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, 173. Mathematically, 173 is the 40th prime number. And so, in theory, Alabama is looking to become 4-0, like 40 for the season. And so is Georgia. Georgia is looking to become 4-0, like 40 for the season. This game is playing in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which sums to 40. So, it's very right that both of these teams are looking to potentially become 4-0. The number's there. The record's there. Somebody's becoming 4-0, like 40. If Alabama was going to become 4-0, like 40 – they have a couple fours that would go in their favor. Well, this is the fourth Georgia game. This is the fourth Alabama game. Alabama is currently the fourth seed for the for the uh, college football. And their quarterback, he wears the number four. And with all that said, Alabama could just go ahead and get their 44th all-time head-to-head win against Georgia to go with it all as Alabama becomes 4-0 and for the season. If that were to happen, we have to look at um, – and then also Tuscaloosa right now. If you write out Tuscaloosa, it sums to 144. And uh, if you write out 44, 44 sums to 144. So there is a four pattern here that could 
involve Alabama getting their 44th all-time head-to-head win. It's, 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 interesting, it's interesting that they're currently sitting on four tie games throughout their history, so I don't think this is going to be a tie game with all the fours, but it could turn into 44th all-time head-to-head winning for Alabama over Georgia. Um, Alabama, it's their fourth game, but it's their first conference game of the season, I believe, if I got that correct. Yeah, conference 0-0. So it's their first conference game of the season. Fourth game of the season, first conference game of the season, kind of like the number 41 Alabama coach. He's looking to go from 40 to 41 all-time wins for his career. Uh, he can do that in their fourth game, in their first conference game, like 4-1. And they would do it against a team whose quarterback is named Carson Beck. Carson Beck right now sums to 179, which is the 41st prime number. And I'm going to be quite honest with you, that is kind of all I have for this game for Alabama. Um, there's not a lot of numbers here for either side. Uh, the records are still small. The conference records are still small. and um, I just don't see a lot with, you know, Georgia's coach getting his 17th loss. I just don't know of a, of a connection for that. I don't see anything directly on the calendar. And I don't necessarily see anything connecting to the location of the game and or the head the head or anything like that. So can Georgia coach get his 17th loss regular season or 17th loss for his career? Yeah. Uh, but I can't really come up with a reason why. And so that's kind of the trick to me. So. Um, Alabama, either, either, either of these teams can get go four and oh, but Alabama, I think the biggest thing that Alabama has going for them is the 44, 44 all time head to head wins potentially because of the number four seed. It's their fourth game. Their quarterback wears the number four. Uh, Tuscaloosa sums to 144, no one 44 sums to 144. But with that being said, in that same breath, if we're going to look at Georgia to win this game, sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. We have to go right back to the location. Tuscaloosa sums to 27 as well as 144. Today does have 27 date numerology on the Gregorian. Georgia could just as easily get their 27th all-time head-to-head win against Alabama. It doesn't have to be 44. It could just be the 27. And then Georgia would be the one that goes 4-0 for a season record instead of Alabama becoming 4-0 in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which is 40 on the 173rd day of the Hebrew religious, 173, the 40th prime number. Now, this is what Alabama has going against them in this scenario because the coach comes in with 40 wins for his career. So technically, he could, the Alabama coach could sit on 40 wins regular season for his career on the 173rd day of the Hebrew religious, the 40th prime number, as Georgia becomes 4 0 for a season record. Uh, this game being played in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which sums to 40. So that 40 can go against the Alabama coach. If the fourth game and the one conference game, like 41, doesn't hit, it's the 40, right? And then he can also just get his 10th loss regular season for his career as they become 0-1 for a conference record, kind of like the number 10 or backwards, 1-0, 0-1. And then, um, yeah, and then I bring it back to Georgia coach, and I still don't see anything for the 98. So for the Georgia coach, my problem with Georgia and their coach is I don't really see any numbers for the 17, but at the same time, I don't really see any numbers for the 78. So the coaching record doesn't really help me at all. Or I'm missing something, in a sense. Like, what am I missing? I don't know. But, um, but yeah. So, Ella, the coach, he's comes in this game one and five, um, as a record being playing in Alabama. So he can become two and five and or one and six with the win or loss. That doesn't really give me a whole lot. Maybe the two. Maybe he could get his second win in Alabama as Georgia is currently the number two seed. Maybe that's a thing. And then it's the second conference game. They can become 2-0. and They can come 2-0 and on the road for the season. So there are some twos here that could help Georgia's coach get his second win in Alabama for his career. They're, them being the number two seed, it being their second conference game. They can become – it's their second road game. So there is stuff there for Georgia. But it's just um, 
It's just not a, a not a not a lot of numbers on either side. Um, and so, but I wanted to show you guys both sides. I know it was a request from uh, somebody on Patreon, and uh, somebody made a comment on my YouTube video about it. So I am going to be making a pick in this game. I'm not too sure who I'm going to pick at this time because, like I said, some of these numbers just go both both ways the 40 just goes either way honestly it just really comes down to either are you going to side with the 44 all-time wins or are you going to side with the 27 all-time wins uh, i guess you could make a case for alabama with the 31s and the 11s uh, if you really wanted to so like for example if you want alabama to win you could say well it's their 11th time in alabama playing each other georgia can lose and become three and one for a season 31 the 11th prime as they become one and one on the road, like an 11 for a record, as well as they become one and one for the conference record, like an 11. So there is that. You can say that. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I think Georgia and Alabama, you can make a case for either side. This is going to be a tough one. I am going to make a pick on this one. I'm not sure who I'm going to decide with. I feel like a lot of people would be taking Georgia just because I think Georgia lost to Alabama last season to. I think it could be a revenge game for Georgia. Um, and also feel like, th doesn't Georgia have the better coach too? I think Alabama, I think this is his first year coaching in Alabama. Not his first year coaching altogether, but his first year at Alabama. So um, I'm going to have to look at this a little bit more, but I wanted to show you guys some numbers. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you insight to the game. Get you started on a decode, maybe add to a decode that you already have. I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you win all the money in the world. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.